Hi, this is Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. Video today is for BMW 5 Series uh, 520 diesel. Always before you do any remapping, I recommend you put a battery charger support. As you can see, it's connected the car. And now I'm going to I'm using auto tuner to just try to uh, remap the uh, obviously this uh, engine so just turning on the auto tuner so from here we go to ECU we go to the car and we go to BMW and this car is 5 series which is I think da, 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 da. that's no that's a 5 series 5 series G ferry from 2015 and this car is 2017 and uh, this engine is 2 liter and 188 very crossover I think is that one here so I'm going to use uh, OBD let's we check the instruction always you check everything before you do anything so let's we see what we got here it's just loading so that's all good here so we didn't that's a diagnostic obd location that's a obd uh, you see guys is already we come to the link and then we do need the seat belt so i put the seat belt on so everything is good Ignition is on. Yeah, ignition is on now. Alright, so that's good. So I close that one. First we do identify. I think this is the right issue. Yeah, this is the uh, right issue. As you can see, I got all the uh, chassis number, everything. This ECU is OBD protected and must be unlocked using the bench mode, then OBD operation. So obviously we can't we can't read. Hmm. That's no good. That's when it's more job. Oh so we need to use the bench. Oh, I just disconnect the battery just for safety before I take off the ECU. That's my ECU is here, DME. So let's we try to take it off. Oh, guys. I done all the uh, all the pin out wiring as a, as you can see on the description. So let's we see how we going. Let's, let's just go. Oh yeah, as you can see, guys, you just read. Now we need to read the ECU normal. So I'm gonna save it here. Now I just read in. That's good. That's good news, guys. I just read in the ECU. As you can see, I just hold it here until finish it up. It's going to take a little bit of time. Make sure. You don't touch anything and be patient.
within the flash, within the EPROM as well, same time. That's a good thing if anything goes wrong, you can clone the ECU because you got backup file. That's good. So now it's gonna upload the data from our AutoTuner server. That's all good. You can see ECU has been successfully read. Okay, so now we got a file. I'm gonna disconnect the power from here. I don't want any problems, so I just take this one off. Now I'm just trying to do the file, guys. And then after that, uh, once I've done the job, I will do the rest. Oh, right, guys, uh, I modified the file so as you can see all my wiring is still is uh, connect to the ecu so let's we go to the same ecu i did identify again just make sure we got good connection yeah that's good now we're gonna go to write the ecu so let's we go to here this is the file, so yes, now it's uploading the data, and now it's just flashing, updating the ECU, so it's going to take a little bit of time, make sure you don't touch to anything of those wiring. Just wait. Now erasing the flash data. It's already erased. That's all done. So the ECO has been successful flash. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all the wiring out and then uh, connect all the wiring to the ECU connect the battery and then we assault the car and we see how it goes Oh guys, everything back here. I put every old connection back. That's the ECU cover. Let's go back to the boot. Connect the battery terminal. And tie. Let's close this. Let's go inside the car. Okay. And I think I just start the engine. So the engine is start, you don't have any light, you don't have any fault, everything is nice green. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope there is some information for someone and like always we do something else on the next video.